All right, so what we're going to show you today is how to unbox the GoGo Sport four-wheel scooter. Uh, three wheels are going to be very similar, but this is the four-wheel unit here. Uh, what you're going to need is a box cutter and possibly a pair of nippers for another step down the, down the road. Uh, the unit's going to come to you like this. Everything is inside this one box. Typically, it's going to ship on a pallet if it gets drop shipped right to you, but this is the box that you're going to get. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the box open. Inside the box, you're going to have uh, foam molding. The back foam molding is going to have your owner's manuals, your keys, your seat post, and your arm rest brackets. Take this one off. The back one is going to have your front basket. In your front basket as well, you have the blue shrouds. Uh, these units come standard with the red shrouds on it, but you do have the blue as an option to swap the colors out. That comes with every purchase. And you have your battery pack. GoGo Sport comes with the larger 18-20 amp batteries. Here, if you want to come look and see what it looks like inside the box, um, this is how your unit's going to look once you get the foam out of there. Uh, typically, it's easiest to raise your tiller up. You have this handle right here. It's got interlocking teeth, so if you loosen that, you can raise your tiller up, and then you just have more plastic. Once you raise the tiller up, you're going to have access to your seat, which is upside down inside the box. Take your seat, lift it up. And set it to the side. More foam. And one of the easiest ways to get it out is you can cut the front of the box on one side and then drive it out. If you have two people, you can lift it out, but a lot of people don't have that. So. Uh, you do have foam molding under the front, so typically you can lift the front up, pull the one foam out from there. You have more foam molding under the rear, lift the rear up, roll it forward. Now your unit is going to be in the drive lock mode, so you put it in neutral, it will roll a lot better. That is located right here on your unit. It's out. Your unit also comes with the front wheels locked for shipping purposes. So whenever you're transporting this unit, you have this little gauge here in the front. If you push it in and twist, it unlocks the front wheels so it allows the wheels to turn freely. Uh, it will come in the lock position so you will wonder why it's not turning. Push it in, turn it to the right, and then it will turn. From here, inside this one box, you have your seat post. Pretty simple, it drops in. You do have a few different height adjustments depending on which hole you decide to put it in. And the owner's manual, you have the keys, but you also have one of the pins that you're gonna to use to put the seat post in place. Figure out what desired height you wanna be at. Put the pin in. From here, you can take your battery pack and drop it onto the base. This is the part that I said you might need nippers for. They use little zip ties up here um, to just hold this foam molding around the console. Cut those two zip ties. And now you also have your keys. So before you put the seat on, just to make sure you did it right, which it should just drop right in place, you can insert the key, turn it on. Now I have the chair in neutral, so you're going to hear this beeping sound. So when you hear that beeping sound, don't worry, nothing's wrong with your unit. Turn the power off in the back here. 
you have a neutral symbol which is unlocked and you have a D symbol for drive which is in the lock position. A lot of people get confused with this. They think that it needs to be in a freewheel position for the unit to drive. That is not accurate. What you're actually doing is when you put it in the lock position, it's just you're engaging the electromagnetic brakes on the unit, which allows the unit to drive, which also allows you to stop when you let go of the throttle automatically. So uh, make sure it's in the drive position. Turn the key back on. You should see all your lights and they will be steady. Um, here's your battery gauge up here. Last step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop the seat on. Pick your seat up. Just drops right onto the seat post. Locks in place. Inside this foam molding you have the right and left arm. You're going to pull your arms out. They slide into this back railing here. Um, you have set screws in there that you can loosen the knobs before you slide the arms in. Now it does come with other safety pins in case these screws come loose, your arms don't just fly off. And those safety pins are also located in here, your other Carter keys. Now you have some bigger ones and you have some smaller ones. The smaller ones are what you use for back here. If you look in the back of the chair, in the back of the unit, uh, there's small little holes in here that allow you to decide uh, how far to uh, expand the arms out. So this is, a, this is a safety type. You don't have to have these in, but this is in case you forget to tighten these up, your arms will not just slide out on you. Um, you do want to tighten these up though because it takes away any play in the unit. Um, and then last step you have is your front basket. just drops right on. So this is the GoGo Sport four-wheel unit, fully assembled. Only takes about five minutes to get out of the box and uh, you're ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family-owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.